All right, let's start out with a quiz today. Which sentence is incorrect? So the situation here, we have this nice lady, poor lady has a cough. The man says, you need to go to the doctor. So which sentence is incorrect? Is it A, he suggested that she go to the doctor? B, he suggested her to go to the doctor? Or C, he suggested going to the doctor? Stick around and we will give you the answer later. So welcome once again to today's video. It's actually a day earlier than usual. We're going to start making these videos on Tuesdays instead of Wednesdays. Um, possibly we will change it to a different day another time, but Tuesdays works with our schedule for now. So I am Adam, I'm an English teacher from the States. I'm here with Tuan, an English teacher from the UK. And Tuan, in today's conversation, uh, I'm going to the doctor. Uh, now, in real life, I very rarely go to the doctor. Uh, I hate it, even though it's very, compared to America, going to the doctor in Japan is very reasonably priced. Uh, how about you? How often do you go to the doctor? Very rarely, too. Quite similar. Um... But recently, I've been getting a few injuries, especially playing futsal, okay. soccer or football. Okay. When was the last time you went? I went a few times last year. Okay. Yeah. I went once, I think about a year ago. I had a little uh, sinus infection, I think is what the problem was. So, uh, but... Because I have two kids, I go to the doctor's office all the time. So I'm at the doctor a lot, just never for me. But now, now that I'm, uh, I'm 40, it's, uh, I should probably go get a few more checkups than I do. And uh, my wife is definitely encouraging me to do so. But I'm a bit, I'm a bit reluctant. I don't want to go. That's the point. In Japan, they make you go for a health check every year. Yeah. So I've been going every year for a health check. Uh, oh, really? UK, you don't, we don't usually go. Okay. Yeah, they really encourage, they encourage you. You don't have to go. You know that, right? You can, you can just not oh, okay. go. I didn't know. Yeah. yeah. I just, I didn't no, know. they, they won't make you go. And I know that because I have not gone for a health check for a long time. So if you work for a company, they will make you, the company generally pressures you into going. But uh, yeah, with, since uh, I don't work for a company, well, I work for my company, so no one can, <laughs> I don't make myself go basically, right? So, but anyway, let's get into today's conversation. And I was not at work the day before, so let's find out why. Did you take the day off yesterday? Yeah, I haven't been feeling well recently, so I decided to go to the doctor. Is everything okay? I'm still waiting for some test results, but he suggested I cut back on sugar and do some light exercise every day. I should probably do the same. He recommended I come in for a checkup more often too. Okay, and let's go line by line and just break down the conversation. So the first sentence was this one here. Did you take the day off yesterday? So did you take the day off yesterday? Did you stay home from work yesterday? So we have this take the day off. Tuan, could you talk about what that means, take the day off? Take the day off means to uh, not go to work, to have a... Um, how would you say? Oh, work vacation, a vacation day of work. Yeah, like a paid holiday usually. Paid, That's right. paid a day paid off. Holiday. Not yes, a paid holiday. Yeah. Paid holiday is not the best way to say that. Maybe a paid day off. Yes. Yeah. Like uh, um, 
generally when you work for a company, you get a certain number of days a year that you can take off, right? That you can say, you can ask your boss or tell your boss, I'm not coming to work this day. That right? would be take a day off, right? So normal work day, but you don't come that day. Is that okay? So did you stay home from work yesterday? And the next part, we have two lines. Yeah, I haven't been feeling well recently. So yeah, I haven't been feeling well recently means, so yes, I didn't come to work yesterday. And I haven't been feeling well recently. So lately, I haven't felt good. So my general physical condition has not been good. And the second part there. So I decided to go to the doctor. So because I haven't felt good, I went to the hospital or clinic. And you can say go to the doctor instead of going to the hospital or going to the clinic. Um, in English, often if you say go to the hospital, it sounds a bit more serious, right, Tuan? Yeah, maybe a serious injury. Yeah. In the UK, we sometimes say GP as well. Right, right. General Which practitioner, is, right? Yeah. Um, do, do you say go to the hospital or do you say go to hospital? Both is okay. Right, right. In, I, in American English, I feel like we only say go to the hospital. I think, yeah, British English, we don't use the, the sometimes. Right, right. Especially when you say in, like he is in hospital. Do you say that? He's in hospital, yeah. right? So in the States, American English, we would always say he is in the hospital. We always have the, but often in, the, in British English, you, you leave off the, 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 the hospital. So he is in hospital or he is in the hospital. Both are okay for people watching this video. Okay. And the next sentence. Is everything okay? So is everything okay? Is anything wrong? Did the doctor find any problems with you? And the next line. I'm still waiting for some test results. I'm still waiting for some test results. So you can see in the picture, maybe looks like a urine sample. Looks like I peed in a cup, I believe is what that is. Uh, there is maybe blood pressure, maybe when they wrap the arm, the band around your arm and squeeze the blood pressure. This one looks like blood, maybe blood test. So the doctor made me take some tests and I'm still waiting, which means I haven't received all of my test results yet. So I don't know if there's a big problem yet. It'd be okay? Yeah. Okay. And the next line. But he suggested I cut back on sugar and do some light exercise every day. So, but he suggested I cut back on sugar and do some light exercise every day. So the doctor said directly, you should eat less sugar and do a little exercise daily. So every day, daily. So we have this cut back on. What does cut back on mean, Tuan? To, in this case, eat less sugar or reduce, or decrease right. to cut back. Right, so this picture is maybe not the best picture. This means no sugar, right? So there's a difference between completely stopping and cutting back, right? So cutting back just means do less. So if you cut back on sugar means eat less sugar or decrease the amount of sugar you eat, not necessarily stop. Uh, do you need to cut back on anything, Tuan? I should cut back on sugar. Mm. I have a sweet tooth. So meaning that I like, I like a bit of sugar. Right. Yeah. Same. I eat, I eat way too much sugar, but, uh, What's something else? That's, a, that's probably common for just about anyone. I need to cut back on complaining to my wife. Maybe it's the one I could do. I should probably complain <laughs> less to my wife. Maybe complain less really, about yeah. my wife too. Yeah. 
but yeah, just general mixing. <laughs> right. Okay, but yeah, cut back on means do something less. Okay, and the next one. I should probably do the same. I should probably do the same. So it would be good for me to. So it would be good for me to cut back on sugar and do some light exercise daily. Right. So I should probably do the same. And the last sentence. He recommended I come in for a checkup more often too. So he recommended I come in for a checkup more often too. So he said, you should have health checks more often. Okay, so this is true of me. As I said before, I don't come in for enough health checks. So I should go in more often for a health check. Maybe okay. So let's go ahead and get into the grammar for today. So we're going to talk about how to use recommend and suggest. And this is similar to reported speech. Maybe this is not similar, this is reported speech basically, where we have a direct quote and then we use suggest to talk about that, right? So the pattern is suggest that someone do something or suggest doing something, ing form of a verb. So in the conversation again, we had this line. But he suggested I cut back on sugar and do some light exercise every day. He suggested, so the doctor said, you should cut back on sugar, right? So you should cut back on sugar is a suggestion, right? The noun form of the verb, is, or the noun form is suggestion. So he made a suggestion. You should cut back on sugar. So we can say he, in this case, is my doctor. He suggested that is, you can put that or know that either way is okay. So he suggested that I cut back on sugar or he suggested I cut back on sugar is okay. Or we can say, since we know he's talking to me, we don't really need I in that sentence, right? We can just say, he suggested cutting back on sugar is also okay. Okay. So another one, the doctor, I suggest that you that you who do some light exercise. So he suggested again that having that or without that, both are okay. So he suggested. I do some light exercise, okay? And, or, or he suggested doing some light exercise. Both are okay. Did I miss anything there, Tuan? Nothing missed, but yeah, just be careful with um, who is saying what. That could be confusing sometimes. Mm -hmm. So if he said you should cut back on sugar, it's uh, he suggested I cut back. Mm -hmm. So just be careful with that point. Um, these two are like for like as well yeah if he's making a suggestion so like you should uh if he said i suggest you cut back on sugar yeah we can use this uh if he makes a strong recommendation for example um you have to cut back on sugar you can say something like he strongly suggested right right good point okay so this is suggest the other one in the conversation was recommend and recommend uses this exact same pattern, right? So recommend that someone do or recommend doing, right? So in the conversation, we had this sentence one more time. He recommended I come in for a checkup more often too. So he recommended I come in for a checkup more often. So what he said to me exactly was, I recommend coming in for a checkup more often. That okay, so we can say he recommended that I come in for a checkup more often, or he recommended coming in for a checkup more often. And just like before, when we had suggest and a suggestion, so we make a suggestion or make a recommendation, and then when we talk about it, we say he recommended, she recommended, they recommended. 
Anything to add here, Tuan? Uh, no, nothing, nothing here. Okay. So let's, the next thing we have here is the quiz from the beginning, right? So we said, which sentence is incorrect? Which sentence is not correct, right? Incorrect. So two of, two of these are correct. One of them is incorrect. So we had A, he suggested that she go to the doctor. B, he suggested her to go to the doctor. And C, he suggested going to the doctor. So Tuan, which one is, is A correct? Yes, A is correct. Um, so like thinking of the, the past two, uh, examples yeah we can use a how about b we cannot say suggest someone to right right so we don't want this suggest her to so we could again we could say that she but we can't say suggest her to and to me the reason i always think this sounds strange is when because this gets used incorrectly a lot if i hear he suggested her it sounds like she is being suggested or recommended for something like for example a promotion or i want her to have the job so i suggest her mm. i suggest her she's kind of the object of this right but really going to the doctor is what we're talking about here not her so whenever I hear someone use that incorrectly, that's kind of why it's incorrect in my opinion. It sounds like she's be, she or her is the suggestion. And that's not what's being suggested. Going to the doctor is being suggested. So if we put this that in between, then it kind of separates the idea. So in this case, since we said B was the incorrect answer and therefore the answer to this quiz, C, he suggested going to the doctor is correct. So A and C are correct. B is incorrect. Is that okay? I believe so. Okay, let's try a couple more here. So... We are at the airport. And the, the, the man behind the counter says, we are completely booked. You should try another airline. So this airline has no tickets. Tuan, this is you here. You're at the front of the line here. So he's talking to you. How would we use recommend in this sentence? So we can say here, he suggested. He recommended. that. Oh, sorry. Yeah, he recommended that I. He recommended that I try another airline. Right. He recommended that I try another airline. Or. We can always use ing, right? So he he recommended trying another airline. Recommended trying another airline. So go to a different airline. Maybe they have tickets, but we are completely booked means no more tickets. So he recommended that I try. And again, we can put that in parentheses here he recommended i try another airline or he recommended that i try another airline both are fine or he recommended trying another airline let's go to another example this time we want to use suggest so the man says i can't sleep the woman says you should stop using your cell phone in bed I think many people are guilty of laying in bed using their smartphone. It's not good for your sleep. So how would we suggest in this situation? So we can say she suggested. 
that he stop using his cell phone instead. His. Right. So the the pronouns and possessive pronouns. So your cell phone, his cell phone. Right. Oh, we need in bed, right? She suggested that he stop using his cell phone in bed. That's probably the trickiest part with these, right? So you changes to he, your changes to his. Okay. And then the ING person, she suggested stop using his cell phone in bed. She suggested, suggested I think the easiest I, way to say this is he said su she suggested not using his cell phone in bed. But to be honest, I think since both of us kind of paused here, the best one, the best sentence to say is probably this first one. This sentence sounds is a bit awkward to make with the negative. She suggested not using his cell phone in bed. Right. Yeah, the negative is we had a little trouble with this earlier. Yeah, the right. That sounds awkward. And I think the reason is when we use the ing form, we don't have the person in there, right? So generally we use this ING form when we know who's talking about who specifically. And it's often when someone is giving us advice, right? So this sentence technically is correct, but it's a little awkward. So the best would probably be just to go with the first one here, I think. So sometimes things can be grammatically correct, but people really don't speak that way. So we should probably not not use it so much. So this is the best answer, I think, for this one here. Right. Okay. And we've got one more. Recommend. So we have a woman here and she's talking to her therapist or psychiatrist. He says, I think you should get a divorce. And she looks, I don't know if she's surprised or excited. I'm not sure, but maybe both. So, how would we use recommend in this situation? So he recommended. We can use the that if we want to. So he recommended that she gets a divorce. He recommended that she get a divorce, right? Or you can say he recommended getting a divorce right he recommended getting a divorce right so that she or he recommended getting a divorce so sad and maybe the first one's better because we don't know who's speaking to who right 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 so again first one's probably better in this situation the second one is also possible to say but it might be confusing if we don't know exactly who is talking here. Is it she or is it is it actually me? Yeah, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Could be another person. Yeah. Right. So if we need to be specific about who the two parts are, then the first, first example is probably the easiest, the most clear, we should say. Maybe okay. Sounds good. So that just about does it for us today. Um, don't forget the, the training video for, for this lesson we put out last Saturday. So it's up on both Facebook and YouTube. Um, I gave an angry rant, a long talk last week about why you need to be training your English um, I could give the same angry talk every single week about why you should be training your English, uh, but you really need to, you need to be doing lots of listening and repeating, shadowing, all of that good stuff. And uh, 
yeah, I won't go into any more detail about it this week. But, uh, Tawani, have anything to add today? Uh, just that, yeah, we touched on reported speech today specifically on suggestions, but yeah, we probably go back to reported speech again in the future. Right, yeah. right. So that's a, it's a common point that gets uh, misused. I, I suggested her to do something, something like that. It's often used incorrectly. So we wanted to cover that today. But uh, if you have any questions about this, please let us know. Uh, if you have any suggestions or recommendations about our videos, uh, please leave a comment below. Um, be nice. <laughs> be nice with your suggestions and recommendations. But uh, thanks for watching, and we will see you again next week. So bye.